Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family. It's very imperative that we get back to understanding finances and learning how the world really works. I want to thank those who purchased the book, Crypto Teacher and W.O. Book. Also, those who donate to the Cash App and Patreon. Much love. I have something special for you for the summer. Now, guys, we're going to get into J.P. Morgan. Now, uh, as far as what crypto goes, now, of course, you have Jamie Dimon, you know, saying Bitcoin um, is dead and also is, is worthless. But the fact is that you slowly see this company, of course, came out with its own, announced that it was coming out with its own coin. But if you actually look at it, basically they're building with Ether. And Ether, of course, is going to be big. It's going to be really big. We really don't know how big Ether is going to be because it can be used in so many facets, especially with the smart contracts. But we're going to get into what JP Morgan is has behind the scenes. Now, the Bank of Japan's MUFG uh, basically started uh, trading, commodities trading on the platform Congo, which is based in Geneva. Basically, that's commodities trading. trading. Now, basically, that led me to uh, JP Morgan's Quorum, which is actually built on Ethereum blockchain and Zcash developers helped build just like Ethereum, so on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So it's identical. Now, the crazy part about Zcash is that it used uh, ZK Snarks, which basically is a privacy coin, which you can make transactions. It can still verify you, but it's not give, giving any information of that person. So the fact is that basically these banks are building a whole system so therefore, they can make transactions without us knowing. And that's all this is about. So guys, they're basically in motions developing another Federal Reserve. It's clearly there. So I posted you know, all the articles that I found, but basically that's all they're building. They're just building another Federal Reserve on blockchain. So... Definitely, these privacy coins are going to be very important. Of course, Zcash, uh, Monero, uh, Dash. So, guys, you definitely want to get invested in these cryptos. Right now, we are still close to the bottom. So, the fact is that this is the perfect time to get in those privacy coins. Now, uh, basically, you had Lloyd Bank was the first UK bank that, that joined them a couple months ago. Now, as we know, Lloyd's Banks, I think, uh, has over $365 billion in assets. And it was founded back in 1765. Uh, you also have Avop, which is a commodities trading platform, which is already doing blockchain trading, commodity trading, uh, with oil. So, guys, they're already doing this. It's already going on. And the fact is that it is doing it behind the scenes, you know, that dark trading. So, the fact is that, guys, we have to get in, get ourselves in position, dig deep in these cryptos, understand the ones to invest in, what not to invest in. I bring more cryptos. I pick a crypto maybe once or twice a week to put out there and do the research behind it. So, therefore, you can see how it works to see whether you want to invest in it or not. But uh, you also have Mark Andreessen with a $450 million fund. Guys, I've done so many videos on him, uh, decoded videos, everything. So the fact is that basically I just did one uh, about a week or two weeks ago on Mark Andreessen. Uh, so the fact is that basically they're definitely bringing in this new economy. But the fact is that J.P. Morgan, uh, Chase, Jamie Dimon, <laughs> the CEO, is building another Federal Reserve. And who was in charge of the old Federal Reserve? J.P. Morgan. Guys, it's amazing. Like, super amazing. And then also, J.P. Morgan with the um, Chrome, you have J.P. Morgan Bank and Microsoft, which is going to be powered by Microsoft Azure. So it's all linked up, guys. All of it. All of it's linked up. But I just wanted to bring you this. Now, of course, guys, it's Saturday, so of course I make you think. 
So I'm going to leave two videos here to make you think. That's all I have for you. Uh, don't forget about uh, the book, NWO book, Crypto Teacher, the website, btcteacher.com, where you get educated about cryptos, also by the book. Uh, don't forget about the cryptos, Coinbase, Bitru, Binance, also the stocks, uh, the chip stocks, the banks, Cobo, gaming stocks. Gaming stocks are going to be so big. Uh, everybody's sitting at home. Don't forget about those stocks. Verizon bought a company just like Zoom. I forgot the name of it. You can do the research. Also, uh, don't forget about everybody sitting at home. There's over 26 million people laid off. Anxiety, depression. Of course, they drink and they smoke weed, so you want to get those stocks. But I did include a video here for those who have lost their jobs. So therefore, you're motivated. Guys, quantum physics is so important. Uh, basically, CNBC has a video, and I'm going to play that. I probably would have got flagged. That's why I didn't play it, because I've been getting flagged a lot. Uh, so the fact is that, guys, quantum physics is so important, because the conscious mind, whatever you have in it, you make it come to reality. So the fact is, the reason why we have the idiot box, the TV, because everybody's wavelength is on sex, drugs, and violence instead of creativity so the fact that that's the reason why they took over the school system so the minute we start having great thoughts creative thoughts love thoughts we can change the universe this is proven because like i said they studied the mind during hitler that's how they came out with the tv tv was created in germany tested in france and then brought it to hollywood and I can get really deep with that, but I put it already in my in my book, NWO book. But guys, your mind is so, so important. So those who have lost their job, as long as you're thinking positive, you can get out here and start your own business, but it all starts in the mind. Turn off the idiot box or get rid of it. And believe me, your universe is going to change because your mindset is going to change. But guys, y'all have a wonderful day and enjoy the videos. And don't forget, your last name is so important. Create a legacy. Well, this is uh, really what you have uh, acknowledged is an evolutionary upheaval moment. Uh, the planet is uh, unsustainable and we are, as humans, precipitating what is called the sixth mass extinction of life. The human behavior has to change in order for us to thrive into the future. We're, we're facing an extinction. And I say, so, but what's the relevance as the Nia and Dr. Buttar are talking about, you know, the consciousness and having a thought in your head, how is that going to affect the, the world? Well, let, let's start with the most important scientific fact, and that is simply this. The most valid, truthful science on planet Earth is quantum physics. There is no science that has been tested or affirmed more uh, than quantum physics. So if we're going to question a science, the last one I question is quantum physics. I say relevance. Because quantum physics is a science that recognizes that consciousness is creating our life experiences. That uh, uh, we, through our mind, are manifesting a reality. And there's a collective reality through collective consciousness. And you say, well, how can my mind be influencing the outside world? Because Oh, it's in my head, and that's where everything is. And I go, yes, you know, you're right. If I put wires on your head, I could read your brain activity inside. It's called the electroencephalograph, and I could read your brain functions inside. However, there's a new technology called magnetoencephalograph, MEG, not EEG. And I say, what's relevant? I say, it reads brain function. I go, yeah, but what's relevant? I say, the probe in MEG devices does not touch the head. The probe is outside. And I said, well, what does that mean? I said, I could read your internal brain functions with a probe on the outside. And you say, well, what does that mean? And the answer is this. Our thoughts are not contained in our head. Our thoughts are broadcast. Our brains are like tuning forks. The more individuals that share a common thought, the more power that vibration is given. The power of the vibration determines the unfoldment of life on this planet. How many people are sharing a belief system? And so what we are calling upon right now is to recognize this. In the next couple of days, uh, at 11 a.m. or p.m., wherever you are in either time, uh, putting your thoughts into a vision of a world of being healthy, happy, uh, evolving into a, a, a beautiful community, a, a garden. 
Uh, these thoughts are important because if we collectively broadcast these thoughts when we think them, the amplitude of individuals, numbers, million individuals, will empower that thought to help facilitate a change in our evolution. So your thinking is not just a byproduct of something going on. Your thinking is an active agent engaging change on this planet. And what we're calling upon you for right now is to recognize this. We must have new thoughts. The thoughts of fear from the COVID virus and all that is actually distorting who we are and actually in a, in a real sense of biology, creating a bigger problem with the fear. Um, it's time for us to change that. And so I'm really here with uh, Nia and Dr. Buttar to uh, really hope that you would pay attention to what we're trying to do because we're all collectively trying to create a better world. And that involves the thoughts that we manifest, not thoughts of fear, thoughts of health, harmony, love. And when we broadcast that in a large enough numbers, and it's already been demonstrated through satellite studies of the electromagnetic fields of the Earth, then when humans collectively are involved with a thought process, it actually changes the electromagnetic field of the Earth, which is giving shape to the physical reality. So it's not just a, hey, that's a nice suggestion. It's a scientific reality. Take our time, focus our thoughts on health, harmony and a beautiful garden and then collectively we will manifest those and this is the intention that we really are working on sharing with the world it's bigger than your first name people with a small mind think about their first name people with a big mind think about their last name first name is me last name is us i'm not just living for me Brian is cool, but the bullets have got to last. I don't care how you got your name. I don't know how you got your last name, but however you got it, you got to get to a mindset that says, I'm thinking about last name. I'm not just thinking about first name. Can I show you the power of a last name? I'm going to show you how powerful a last name is. I, I, I did some research. One time I read a statement that said rich people, uh, rich people, they think about, you know, themselves, but wealthy people think about everybody. And I, I remember researching this, and I started looking up all of the companies that were last names. I'm going to tell you right now, all the companies, it's, it's, a, it's an exhaustive list. I can keep going, but I'll just show you just a few. McDonald's is a last name. Abercrombie and Fitch is a last name. Armani is a last name. Baskin Robbins, Chrysler, Fisher Price, Gucci, Hennessy, Harley Davidson, last name. Hilton is a last name. Honda, Kohl's, Kraft Foods, Lowe's Movie Theater, Marriott is a last name. Maybach is a last name. Nordstrom is a last name. Pillsbury, Porsche, Procter and Gamble, Rolls Royce, Charles Rolls. Charles Rose, Henry Royce, Turner Broadcasting System, Ted Turner, Versace is a last name, Wells Fargo, that's Henry Wells, William Fargo, Walgreens is a last name, Wrigley's is a last name, Welch's Grape Juice is a last name. Now here we are, we think we're buying a product, but you didn't buy a product, you bought a name. And how foolish do we look? when we give to one family and give to another family while our family's broke. So you done went to Wells Fargo, which is one family, and brought all this money so you can go to Harley Davidson, which is another family, and, and meanwhile, Wells Fargo's family sitting at the house, good and rich, and Harley Davidson sitting there, good and rich, and you are at the Joneses' house, sitting there, yo, look at my ride, we broke! Because you borrowed from one family, gave to another family, so you can show your family how little you really have. 